What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and again, this is a, uh, a follow-up to the earlier video where we showed off Patricia and Alakita. Now I'm showing you guys JC's huge Lord of Fear Aspen, raking in about 120 million attack, and again, this is rocking a holy skill damage stone, so we're still not even getting like attack attack off this, absolutely insane. I actually wonder if he does have something, he's got speed attack attack which you can see instantly three million wow um yeah so we're gonna be rocking this hero and we're gonna be running a melodic strings upgraded version lingering melody of the universe uh now besides this we do need to have some support heroes along the way and um <laughs> you know now that i think about this oh no i'm gonna set a preset up Four broken spaces but i don't want to show his presets so i'm gonna be right back so it just so happened he perfectly had a flame shrine set up which should work for this as well and we're gonna go absolutely crazy on this combo we're even using drake all sorts of stuff like this now be prepared these first few waves are gonna die even before lord of fear aspen gets to attack because yes we are going in on broken spaces everything up through like 10 and 11 should be an absolute cakewalk i mean you can probably see i mean i can probably show you like even our support heroes on this type of account s tier 82 million attack on a mystic fairy freya like come on man that's just like that's just joke status right so let's get some hits in here these are going to be absolute jokes i wouldn't be surprised if we beat the last few broken spaces levels within the first couple rounds to be honest like all these are going to be a joke uh i mean when your support hero has more attack than most people's main lord of fear aspen i think that says something right that that kind of goes to show the power an account like this have even if you take all the treasure train out of it like you're what you're seeing right now is freya one-shotting the entirety here well maybe not the entirety okay actually no she did one-shot the entirety because of her poison damage <laughs> the old school broken space of seven that used to be the most difficult thing in the world for a lot of people to do yeah i mean you can see we're even to the point where the speed setup is getting everybody to go before Lord of Your Aspen, which is pretty much optimal in most situations. Now, seeing that we're going up against Broken Spaces uh, 10 and 11, I mean, we're going to start running into the potential issue of certain combos being really strong. But this is just going to be probably utter destruction right here, even without it, because you can see... He's got so much energy, even like considering all this. You can see how much damage they're doing, and then you can compare it to what Lord. This this damage was killing all the previous waves, and now we're up to broken spaces ten and eleven, and this is going to get a little bit crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if we win on like the first round or two. The problem here is uh, we didn't quite one shot. It was close, but I think this account has enough <laughs> power that I don't think they care about these heroes doing potentially damage like we did way back in the day. This might be the kill right here. No, actually not. We're going to have to get one more active skill on the Eos, it seems like. I feel like one more hit should be good, right? Right? Oh, no, he didn't get an active off. Rip us. We actually have to go to round four. What is this poor man's kill are we doing? oh my goodness and broken spaces 11 what do you guys think do you guys think this is going to be a one tap kill at all they keep getting more and more hp you have to remember that we are putting as many debuffs on these enemies as possible hopefully the shrink goes on the right target it does not but that was oddly tanky holy cow um interesting very interesting the defense down is on the wrong target, it seems like. Oh, there we go. Okay, that was a little weird. Finally got a good hit off, and then maybe round five, victory. Do you think we can one-tap right here? <laughs> what was that? What was that? And this is the crazy power. And this is why game modes keep coming out. And people are like, I can't keep up with that. How am I supposed to do that? It's because things like this happen. And it just trivializes so, so much.
Now, the other thing I think that is interesting, because he is very much focused on doing Star Expedition, he actually went for the Seeking Knowledge Charm here. Yeah, the little cat that's hitting stuff around, which is interesting, because this one is really cool. After your hero is attacked by an active or normal attack, if his health is greater than 50, he will get 10 points of energy. If his health is less than that, he will heal. Or no. As a shield, right? I don't know. There's so many typos in this. I don't even know if it's working or not. At the end of the round, a random attribute debuff will be converted to a corresponding attribute gain, which is pretty cool. And then beyond that, this is really cool. Triggered after each hero action. Randomly triggers one of the following effects. Either increases the energy of our hero to the highest... Uh, with the highest speed by 100 points, which is weird because in this situation, in like Star Expedition, it's actually not going to be Lord of Your Aspen. He's not going to be the fastest. So interesting. Number two, it can trigger is increases the attack at the highest, increases the total, increases the attack with the highest, increases the total damage caused. <laughs> what? by our hero by 20 percent that's the big one right there because that's going to be hitting lord of your aspen if you guys can decipher gibberish and that's going to give him 20 percent additional damage or increase the total damage reduction to friend hero with the lowest hp so you're kind of banking on this second one and again it only triggers one time and it's only after each hero action and i think this only applies on the main hero i don't necessarily think it, it applies to all the other ones but it's really cool to see how different people are going for different things based on what they enjoy the most and by doing this i kind of want to throw the gauntlet down i want to challenge all the megalodons and whales to show off their most powerful hero in the game i'm talking about i want to see people that now have probably like 150 million attack i mean nowadays it might be more i know wreck for a while there had like 120 million attack and that was even a while back and i'm sure there's people that have even stronger heroes right now so i really want to see and i want to throw the challenge down if you guys are a whale and you guys think you can beat this lord of your ass it doesn't have to be even lord of your ass when that's your strong hero it could be a star swords mockman doom terminator vulcan whatever tickles your fancy but i want to see who has the strongest hero in the game my guess would probably be immortal toad on ios i've never actually talked to him so i'd love to know exactly what his hero does uh but until then i'm gonna i'm just gonna say jc's the champion until i see otherwise so let me know you guys think if you want to see anything else from this account please hit me up we do have a lot of heroes and we do have some sea lands to clear uh just taking a look real quick well before we get out of here i mean we still got like 36 of 40 done in the abyss and like literally we're rocking an 80 million attack starlet queen halora we might be able to clear that out and jc if you're cool with it maybe we'll clear all the other factions out as well unless you're holding them to play around with something i don't know hopefully you guys enjoy this one i'll see you guys next time